district we're at uh, Digley Reservoir and uh, yeah it's out for uh, a night in the van so just uh, got here it's about half 12 and uh, I'm just gonna have uh, a quick bite to eat and uh, go for a walk around the reservoir which is over there and yeah it's a little bit uh, a bit of a breeze in the air Plan. So yeah, we're going to find somewhere for, uh, to park up tonight and uh, yeah, spend the night in the van. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have some lunch and then uh, yeah, we'll go for a quick wander and yeah, find somewhere else. So uh, yeah, I'll have this, bring you back. <laughs> right guys, so that's where we are. Let's go and have a quick wander. Right, trust me, the weather looked pretty good when I set off. I've only been going about 10 minutes. And now it's started to rain. That's coming in. So uh, I was looking right, literally as a set off. But whoa. Guessing we're gonna get wet, but hey ho, we'll dry off and we'll be all right. But still, nice little place for a wander though. Right, let's see what happens. Let's see what's down this here. Way. And that must be some sort of natural spring. Not a bad little spot. Well, I'm guessing as the uh, plug hole is uh, nowhere near, the reservoir must be quite low. And you can see actually what the water line would be. So, yeah. Still seagulls like it. So uh, all we've got to do now is walk along over there. Yeah. <laughs> 
that little spot. <clears throat> so, yeah, trek cavern or something. But yeah, end of look quite over the other side of uh, Mamtor now. So uh, I think that is blocking all that wind. But yeah, it's about four o'clock. Just had a coffee. Well, actually, it's coffee's in the van. But yeah, that is Castleton. That's the cement works. Tent. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> this might do nicely. Right, I'm gonna sit and drink my coffee. Right, that right there is a natural spring. So it looks like the farmer's tapped it in and uh, that coming out of there, he's somehow put a pipe in it, got it in a uh, pig trough or cow trough, whatever. But yeah, look how clear that is. So, uh, yeah. So if ever you're a trek cavern and you need some water, I'm guessing that's good to go. That looks as clear as. So right, let's go and see who's just turned up. A couple of uh, vans just went by. Let's go and have a look. And then there was one. Just me. I did see an old American school bus go that way. Very weird. Right. Tonight's little um, couple of beers. So I picked them up this morning uh, on uh, my way here from Morrison's. So yeah, sit and have them now, I reckon. And then uh, do my dinner. Good evening. So, it's now got dark, as you can probably tell. And uh, yeah, just sat here and just watched it get dark for uh, the last, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Had a beer, uh, listened to the radio for a bit. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna crack another one. Probably then do my tea, which is nothing special, just a tin of curry. And then, uh, uh, I don't like bed down, probably. So wind's starting to pick up a bit. But, you know, not too bad. So, yeah, that's the plan. So once we get it all sorted, I'll uh, show you what it looks like inside. Okay. We'll see you a lot later. Right, guys. Tonight's tea is on the go. So we've just got a tin of chilli. Uh, turn that down a bit, I think. Yep. That will do it. So, uh, yeah, cool. Well, let's get that warmed up. And, uh, yeah, all we've been doing is, uh, yeah, it's been sitting here for a bit, really. So... Listening to a bit of music, chilling out, a couple of beers. So yeah, all good. All right, let's get this cooked. Oh, all right, that is done. 
Mm. It's just a tin of stag chilli. So yeah, that'll do. Oh. I must admit, I fell asleep earlier. <coughs> and I don't think it's even that late, but yeah, I just laid here and yeah, I drifted off. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to eat that. I've still got a bit of my beer left, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit left. Well, yeah, it's good off can. Oh, so, mm, I'll have that and yeah, see what else uh, occurs. Probably not a lot. But yeah, and then I think we'll just crawl into bed and uh, go to sleep. Right, dinner is done. So I thought I would show you my new Pipe Dream 400 from Outkit. So, yeah, there it is at the minute. That is tonight's bag. Uh, yeah, been wanting to uh, get a lighter sort of winter bag uh, for a while now. I've got the Sky High uh, 700 from Outkit, um, which is a good bag, um, but um, yeah, I've had mine a long time and I think the comfort rating on it is only about two degrees. Whereas they reckon this is comfort of minus six. Um, so, uh, yeah. We'll give it a go tonight. I mean, it's about seven degrees in here, something like that. Or was it eight? I don't know. It was seven or eight when I checked. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, this thing weighs in at uh, just over a kilo, whereas my other one comes in at uh, 1.4, the old Sky. I think the newer ones come in lighter, but like I say, I've had my other one for about five, six years now, so it's sort of the older one. And uh, yeah, it's a bit heavier. And I thought, well, if I can shave that off, then, you know, for winter, Let's face it, none of us are getting any younger, are we? So, it's uh, it's getting harder and harder to get up the mills with that bag on. So, that was the plan. Oh, someone's pulled up. Uh-oh, busted. Bring it back later. Morning, guys. So it's about 20 to 8, been up for probably about an hour, um, so I had a coffee, um, got sorted as you do, and uh, yeah, we're about to head off, might take a, uh, a sort of a long drive home, and because uh, my tent has uh, turned up, got the email for that, so I'm going to go pick that up and uh, see what that looks like. And yeah, that is it. So it was good to get out for a night. And I took, I parked up at Treek Cavern and uh, stayed there the night, which is on the old, um, the disused road, the road that collapsed under Mam Tor. I went further on uh, to have a look. There must have been about, I don't know, 20 vans all parked up um, obviously it's a, a, a well-known popular spot um, but virtually right at the very end um, yeah there was all in a line loads of them so I've just come back to uh, the natural spring done me washing up um, that water is as clear as a bell when I put the pot in pulled it out there's nothing in it whatsoever it is 
it is a proper natural spring. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I reckon you could get the water from there, boil it anyway, just to be careful. Um, and uh, yeah, th there's nothing in it. The water is crystal clear. So uh, yeah, like I say, if you need water, treat cavern at the bottom of it. Um, it's right near a farm gate and it's like I say, it's in a sheep trough. Um, and uh, yeah, it's constantly running. So yeah, so uh, I think that's it. So uh, yeah, if we can get some little bits uh, on the way home, I'm gonna go and see if we can find some other places to sort of uh, camp up for the night in the van or anywhere that I can sort of park the car and then walk off and go uh, up into the hills camping. Um, you know, cause that, that's always the trouble is trying to find somewhere that you can leave your uh, vehicle safely um, rather than sort of out in the middle of nowhere where it's liable to end up with smashed windows and slashed tires, that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. So uh, cool, thanks for coming along. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, hit the subscribe. Till the next one.